The reason content marketing is really important is it allows the small and medium businesses to compete with the big guys without spending all that budget. Why, why is that? Why, why is it? Why does it not content take budget? ranks so well on Google and the big guys, you know, spend, they just look at it as saying, hey, want to grow? Just spend money on advertising. Advertising is expensive. Content ranks higher. It can organically get you leads and traffic in the long haul. So I think the model is much better for something like content marketing. All right. So easy, easy to access, low cost to jump in, and it's about the long term. It can generate leads for you ongoing. That's correct. Yeah. And if you compare it, I suppose, to what? Yeah, Facebook marketing or sorry, advertising or other forms of advertising, they might be shorter wins. But um, is, that, is that how you'd compare it? Yeah, the, the way I look at it is... The reason it's successful is this. Google prefers ranking text. If you rank high and you start getting a lot of traffic, you can direct them to webinars, your homepage, landing pages, product pages, etc. Big companies don't leverage this as often because they have too many layers within the organization, PR, legal, uh, marketing, etc. So when they try to do content marketing, it takes a long time. I know Google is trying to do content marketing, and I kid you not, every blog post would have to go through legal. It's not an efficient way to do it, right? It makes it really easy to compete against someone like a Google, even though they have more money, due to the fact that lawyers are always going to be slow on this kind of stuff, right? It's just another added layer that's going to slow them down from succeeding. All right, I really like that. So bigger companies have some you know, hoops to jump through to get that content even just out the door. Um, say that once they've got it out the door, how, how are our small businesses able to compete? Do you want to just talk maybe about some of your process and, and how you um, deliver the content? Yeah, sure. So the way I deliver content is crank it out, publish it on a WordPress blog, and then from there I blast it out to my email list. I collect new emails from my blog itself or the website. And you can use tools like HelloBar or SumoMe or Bouncer Chain to collect the emails. Yeah, that's that's an interesting you know product that you created, like HelloBar, purely really to collect emails. I think that's like the primary use of it, if I'm not wrong. That's correct. Yeah, just because we needed more emails for our blog, we're like, hey, why not put all these sliders, modals, pop-ups, etc., to collect more emails? It works extremely well. All right, excellent. So. You go, you go and you just write the content, um, you push it out through social media. How are you, how are you automating this process? Uh, because I can imagine that uh, you know, if content's working really well for you, you want to try to you know, maximize that as much as possible. The way you see if it's working well is just through Google Analytics, right? So once you see something's upticking, it's driving emails or leads, you want to write more of that, you want to share it on your social profiles. Uh, and you want to continue doing that or every time you link out to someone in a blog post, you want to let them know like, hey, John, love what you're doing so much so that I even linked out to you my latest blog post. Feel free and check it out. Uh, if you shared it, not only would it make my day, it would make my year. Cheers, Neil. Something simple like that works well. 